Hi Pisces, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you are doing well. This is a reading for any sun, moon, or rising Pisces. Awareness for the week. We have the Three of Pentacles. So this is a group card within tarot. And you can see the builder here working. He has the skill to build this beautiful structure, this beautiful cathedral. He may be working for these two folks or he may be working with them and they're collaborating. They are maybe giving each other feedback or talking about what they'd like to improve. And so, you know, this is about using your skills and your talents to uh, build, build results that are best representative of you. And uh, this shows working toward a common goal this week. So you may be focusing on your work relationships where you are maybe part of a team and trying to find the balance between the negotiation and the compromise. This could be working on a relationship, working on the dynamics of family relationships, but there's a sense here of, of paying attention and building something beautiful, using your skills, being appreciated for what you do, being hired for your talent. So focusing on work, resources, building something nice with your hands. Here's the Nine of Wands. So the Nine of Wands, it looks like he's a wounded warrior. Looking over his shoulder, and he's probably thinking, what in the world next is going to happen? I'd really probably rather be home right now, but I'm going to stick it out. I'm, gonna, I'm almost at the end of this cycle, of this journey, of this path that I'm on. And so I need to buck up and I need to hang in there and I need to keep my eyes open despite how tired or beaten up or bruised I may feel in order to ride this through. You get a real sense that he's either uh, defending or protecting himself, but he's certainly looking in the direction as if to say, huh, okay, you know, I I've got a little bit of reserve in here in the tank and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hang in there. Others may lay down that sword and walk away, but he's still standing and it does show a sense of tenacity, of perseverance, of grit. So you may, in your situations this week where you're working hard, working with others, you may have to protect yourself. You may have to show some grit and perseverance in maybe getting a deadline accomplished or something uh, that you have to have to do that you maybe can't walk away from. Okay, so we have the lovers in terms of your guidance, the lovers, major arcana, and this is a card of relationships and significant relationships. Relationships, if you, if this is a platonic relationship, then this is something that is very meaningful to you, a friend, perhaps a business relationship where there's trust, intimacy, uh, there's pleasure in working together. And it has impact on your life. It's significant to your life. If this is romantic, this is the possibility for something very important to you. Again, passion, desire, connectedness, the union of two people coming together, the vulnerability that comes with a relationship where someone can hurt you, someone can let you down, and we take that risk when we feel strongly enough about someone. If you're in a relationship, it could be deepening the bond, making decisions that impact your future. And again, if you're dating someone seriously, you may be thinking about where your path is going together. If you have a together future and you may decide that you don't. However, I feel that with this six of wands here. This is a card of success. It's a card of enjoying your reward. Everything that you've put into a project, perhaps a relationship or whatever it may be, results in success. And the success is yours and you will be recognized for it. And here's your victory wreath on your hat and head here and your uh, victory wreath on your wand. And you have the the attention of the people outside here in town. They may be thinking, hmm, I'd like to be like him or her. 
So behind the scenes, this has taken leadership. It's taken the ability to work with others, to be able to compromise, to be able to get through adversity, to hang in there. It's a real strong message of hanging in there is going to result in success for you. That while you may feel challenged or exhausted or worn out, you're going to have success. For some of you, this may feel like this love relationship is going to be a success. That you're going to be able to celebrate the union. So let's see what we have in terms of possible outcomes. So possible outcomes, <clears throat> excuse me, is the Knight of Pentacles. Slow and steady wins the race. Sitting on his horse, he's the one knight who's not in motion. He is planted, he's got his eyes downfield, he's holding his pentacle, thinking probably, how can I make more pentacles? How can I really make the most out of my harvest? Practical, um, planning, grounded, hardworking, devoted energy. Maybe not the most exciting knight in tarot, but one that is steadfast, true, loyal and devoted. You really get a sense here of devotion. And I think that bodes well because this devotion could be with respect to a relationship, an important relationship that perhaps you're either feeling the devotion of a partner or you are the devoted partner or party. And that devotion can lead to it can lead to, again, the Hierophant, Major Arcana. The Hierophant has to do with traditions and society and the collective, the group, the group thinking, churches, educations, certain career paths. It's getting the blessing and perhaps the approval in the eyes of the church, in the eyes of friends or family that you may need to feel that you need uh, a, a, what am I trying to think? Not a celebration, but a uh, ceremony. That's what I'm looking for. A ceremony with respect to the relationship. This is following, you know, the trajectory of society, of what society maybe expects us to do. Some people totally shy away from this and they do their own thing. Others are more traditional and are seeking a traditional path or an outcome. So seeing that the lovers is right, right above the Hierophant, I get a sense here that this is a relationship that could very well lead to a civil, you know, a union, a blessed union, a marriage, an engagement, something that is going to be traditionally uh, done throughout society after careful thought, but there's a lot of devotion and loyalty impacted here or involved here. And success, success with the Six of Wands. Hmm. Let's see what we have in terms of messages from the Oracle cards. So this will be like an affirmation for the week or a meditation point. The Ringmaster of Scrutiny, Discernment, Clear Vision, and Details. So discernment is being smart in the choices that you make, of being discerning, of being wise, of really looking through everything, what's said, what's written, actions, being very focused on really on how you're making choices. Clear vision is about what you hope for and what you see. And the details is not, you know, not forgetting to think about the details. So, you can see the, the wand here is a lot of glowing, powerful energy. And that energy uh, could very well be towards a relationship, towards moving, moving on with this relationship or, you know, having great success with a relationship. Now let's see what we have for spirit or emotional self. I'm going to go ahead and do this. Soul Solitude, 
Your soul needs attention. There are moments when it's important to get away, not just from the noise of the outside world, but to find a place where your soul can experience peace and quiet, a place for soul solitude. This is a time to pause, a time to reflect, a time for you. And you may feel that way after working to build a structure, working to build perhaps a relationship, a marriage, something powerful, a union. You may need some time for yourself. It seems that there's a lot going on in terms of relationships and interactions. And then finally, let's see what we have for love. I'm gonna go ahead and shuffle these two. Tolerance. You appreciate other points of view because you sense the love in everyone. So being tolerant, being open to other points of view, not shutting them down, listening. You don't have to agree with everybody. Everyone's entitled to their own opinion. It's valid and uh, it doesn't make anyone else less lesser than you. And so it's just to practice tolerance. It's really I think it's important because otherwise you can get really dragged down quickly by other negative, the negative sense. If you can just be mindful that everybody, you know, everybody has their own point of view. It may not be yours, but allow them to have that point of view.